I guess interested and going to discuss what how to create a new database diagram in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you select our database and if you click add here plus, now here you can find database diagram. So this feature is available with SQL Server 2014. Now here if you select a uh, database, so add here I'm using SQL Server Management Studio 18. Now if you select add here database and here click plus, so this feature is not available. Database diagram features are not available with SQL Server 18 plus. Now add here in my system, two version of SQL Server is there. First is 2014 Management Studio and here Management Studio 18 plus here. So add here previous version. You can use 2016 and here 2014 you can create database diagram. So right click here, you should go new database diagram. And hereafter you should follow some wizard. So add here, I'm going to create the database diagram with the uh, employees table and hereafter, so let's click on add. Now hereafter going to create employees and department table. Now click on add. So this two table I selected because it has primary and foreign key relation set. So add here this is the employees table. So add here employees underscore id is the primary key. And here department underscore id is the foreign key. Now here this is the department underscore id is the primary key. So if you are going to relate to um, two or more than two tables, so it must have foreign key and primary key relationship. So right here you can see relationship EMP manager FK between employee HR and employee HR. So by using this, we can create at your data database diagram. Now there is a one also one beautiful ID is there. So it's called DB4 Studio 2019 for SQL Server. So if you like to know how to download and install, so you should or check this video how to install DB4 Studio for SQL Server. So here you get all the idea how to install and download. Now here after if you want to create the database diagram. Okay, so you should go add here or uh, database. Now here you find database diagram. Okay. So click there database diagram and only you need to do one thing. So I'm going to create the database diagram on JSON. So if I directly select add here JSON. So add here it's creating. Please wait processing diagram object. So at here it's uh, created the data database diagram on or uh, 71 objects. Okay, here if you click on plus then you get some ideas. Let's click on 100. So see at here there is the uh, database diagram it's created with uh, 71 objects. So I'm not going to select at here 71 objects. So let's click once again database diagram and here database diagram. So I'm going to select only uh, all HR schema tables. Now drag into database diagram. That here this is the database diagram it's created. Now it will uh, uh, show you the relationship between two or more tables. Now here so suppose add here this is the HR department and here HR employees. So add here department underscore ID is the primary key and here this is the employee underscore id is the primary key and here i'm going to make a little bigger now here you can find or uh, let's go and here you can click on constraint so here you can get the idea was so at here emp email so this is the unique key and here emp emp id this is the primary key and here and here EMP manager ID this is the foreign key. So 
add here of two if you click on constant so add here dp underscore id is the primary key and here dp underscore this is the foreign key so this is the primary key and this is the foreign key and dpt underscore lock is the foreign key so and here this is the link so the de uh, departments it's linked with employees now here this is linked with location and here this is the link with job history and uh, here so add here job history this is the link with hr jobs so this is the very easiest way we can create a database diagram by using db force studio 2019 for sql server to sql server so only you need to uh, select the tables and drag and here you get the uh, 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 disk, uh, detailed description about the constant where uh, what exactly is the uh, rig underscore id so this is the primary key and here if you click on constant so add here country underscore c underscore id so this is the primary key and here this is the risk key risk con uh, counter underscore raised underscore fk so this is the fk that indicate point key so if you take the cursor at here so it will describe constant counter raised fk point key reason id reference to and here it will describe the reference to hr reason reason id so by using db for the studio 2019 so it will describe the data data or uh, database diagram or uh, more in more detail so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you